Okay, we retain another integral. This one's from the Vienna integration, B2024, problem 34. You have the integral from zero to pi over two of sine 2024x over sine x dx. Okay, I came across a pretty interesting method for this in the Vienna answer key. And I think they might have a better solution than I do, or actually a faster solution. I did another video using the Dirichlet curtain on it, but it was a little bit long doing it that way. I think their way, I think their way of doing it might be a bit of a shortcut. So to get started with this, what I want to do, basically I want to create a lot of space and you'll see why in a second, because there's going to be a lot of terms. So we'll create a really long fraction. And what they did with this is they started creating terms. So we have 2024x and they just created a sign of 2022x. And then you don't want to change it, right? So you have to add back sine 2022x, but then you do the same thing again and you subtract off sine 2020x. Now this whole thing is going to keep going like this for like a thousand terms or however many it is or 2000 terms. Let me make a little more space and just do the last couple terms so we can see what's happening. So we're going to, we would have that one, but then let's just do a bunch of dots so we can get down to the bottom of it. And then eventually after doing this a million times, we get to sine 4x minus sine 2x. Notice again, all the angles are differing by just 2 or 2x. And then again, we don't want to change it here, so we're just going to add sine 2x. And now at this point, you might be wondering why we did all this. Well, it comes down to our different angle formula that we have over here for cosine and sine. We usually use it this way, this first formula. But if you just take this and multiply both sides by 2, you can get it where we have something like what we have in our integral, if we just focus on any one of these, this is in the same form we have here. Subtracting two sine functions with different angles. And then like for this, what we're saying is for our a plus b, we're saying a plus b here is gonna be 2024x. And then our a minus b is gonna be 2022x. So to see what our a value is, we can just add these two together. We have 2a equals 4046x or a equals 2023x. Just noticing that 2023 is between 2022 and 2024. And so this is how it works in this first example, but it's gonna work the same way for all thousand of these or whatever. You're gonna end up with, for the a value, you're gonna end up with this value between the upper and the lower value. And then if we subtract these two, we can get our b value because the a's are gonna cancel out. Doing that, we're going to get 2b. Subtracting 2022 from 2024, this is 2x. Then solving for b, we get b is equal to x. So then using this formula, we can just rewrite this whole thing. It's going to be 2 cosine of a, which is 2023x, times sine of b, which is going to be sine of x. And the reason this here is going to help us simplify it is because we've got sine x here, and we've got sine x in the denominator. And so for every single one of these, not counting this last one, for all of these down to here, the sine x is gonna cancel off. We're gonna be integrating a sum of cosines. That's easy to integrate. They're all gonna be easy to integrate. So this is really gonna simplify this a lot. So let's go ahead and just start rewriting these terms. So, the, so for this first one, we know what's gonna happen. The sine x is gonna cancel out. We're gonna be just left with two cosine 2023x. But it turns out there's gonna be two in the formula for each one of these. So we can just factor the two out of all these. And then for the next one, we're gonna be going from 2022 to 2020. The middle value is gonna be 2021. So it's gonna be cosine 2021x. Then let's see, maybe just this last one, this is gonna be cosine 3x down here. And now last we need to deal with this sine 2x right here, but we can't deal with it the same way because we're just looking at one sine function here. But it's really okay because sine 2x, we can use double angle form on this and write it as two sine x cos x. And then for just this one, for all the other ones, the sine x cancels out, but for this one, we still have the sine x. And that's pretty nice because then sine cancels with this. And really we could actually just now like fold this back into here because we go cosine three x, cosine x, we still have the two. But now here we're ready to integrate. I'll just factor this two out in front. So for the first one, we're gonna have sine 2023x over 2023. Then for the next one, we're gonna have sine 2021x over 2021. Then let's just do these last two. So this is gonna become sine 
3x over 3, and then lastly, we're going to have just sine of x. And for all this, we're just evaluating from 0 to pi over 2. But notice when you evaluate 0, sine of 0 is 0, so we don't have to worry about that. And so we just need to evaluate at pi over 2. But I'm actually going to reverse the order. So instead of starting here, I'm going to start to the right and go this way. So first, sine pi over 2, that's going to be a 1. Then here, sine 3 pi over 2, that's going to be minus 1 over 3. So we have minus 1 over 3 there. Then when we do like sine 5x, uh, sine at 5 pi over 2, that's going to be 1 again over a 5. So we're going to have a plus 1 over 5. And then it's just going to keep going with this pattern, alternating signs, odd denominator, and it's going to go, we'll do like the last few. On sine 20, 21 pi over 2, that's going to be a 1. It gets a little confusing because if you, um, the number's large and stuff, but then this one here, this is going to become a minus 1 over 20, 23. But now at this point, I don't have a really good way to sum this up. So this is the solution they have in the answer key. And I don't really have a good way to simplify this, but one interesting thing we can do is we can actually get a pretty good approximation for this. Here using power series. Let me just clean up the board and we'll just try to approximate this. Okay, so what we have here for the approximation is gonna be the power series for arc 10. And of course, for power series, this goes to infinity. What we have does not go to infinity, but it's a pretty large number. So that's why I'm thinking that using this is gonna be pretty good, even though this isn't infinity. And what we can do here, if we just look at arctan, all we need to do is, if we just evaluate this at one and see what happens, this becomes one cubed is just one. This is gonna be basically what we have up here in the thing we wanna find. And for this right here, because we know what arctan of one is, then we can get an exact value for this anyway. So the value for this, arctan of one is just pi over four. And so what I'm saying is all this stuff is gonna be very close to pi over four. You just need to multiply it by two. And so for our approximation of this, we just get pi over two. And actually I should probably write this a different way. Like this is actually equal because we know that two times pi over four is pi over two exactly. But here, this is all approximate. So this is our approximation. So this here will be pretty close, clearly not exact, but not too bad. Okay, really good one from Vienna 2024. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.